What's up everyone? This is Ryan with UniqueApps.com um, and I actually have a really cool application that I'm going to re be reviewing today. The application is called Awesome Note. And what Awesome Note is, is an actual theme based um, to-do list, I guess, or a note application. Now before we get started, I just want to explain some things about this application. Now I'm not a huge fan of to-do lists because every time I seem to um, use an application or some sort of a digital digital to-do list it always seems to get cluttered you know I just have tons and tons uh, of lists of just they seem to get cluttered what awesome note does extremely well is it allows you to categorize your notes in themes so if you look here I've got a couple pages of themes right now we have all notes I have app ideas um, I have work I have someday personal I have current app that says stuff. I have books and I have app reviews. So um, I'm just going to go through basically everything with app with Awesome Note. And, and like I said, this is a really, really neat application. It has literally allowed me to declutter my desk. Before this application, I used sticky notes a lot, and I would just write something down, stick it on my desk. Write something down, stick it on my desk. And I had sticky notes literally covered my desk. This application has allowed me to. Um, just just clean up my desk, make my desk look a lot cleaner, able to work on it now. So we have four buttons on the bottom down here. We have two um, things you can do on the top. There's a quick note or a quick memo, or I'm going to select that real quick, or there's a new note. So I'm going to go to quick memo. Quick memo is basically just a, a quick memo. Maybe if you want to add a grocery list or so I can add, a, I want to get some apples, I want to get some bread. Or whatever. So your quick memo is always there. It's 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 um it you access your quick memo just by touching there. So from every screen you can access your quick memo. So again, those are just for for real quick things you want to remember. Now the main part or the main functionality of this application are the theme based folders. So if you look in here again, there's all my folders. I'm gonna go through these um these bottom menus real quick. First off, we have an imp or uh, information icon. This just tells a little bit about the application. We have a settings icon. This is actually really neat. You can actually back up and transfer with Google Documents. So if you have a Gmail account, um, you can actually sign in. You can export, import, backup, or restore. Now one thing though, I think they can work a little bit on this because the backup and the restore, it, it, you, I can export just fine, but when I'm importing, it seems to, I seem to get duplicates. So whenever I restore from, um, or not importing, whenever I restore, um, it actually just it still adds so, so let's say I restored from another version it would keep all this here and then just restore the, the differences what I would like this to do is actually just restore a complete version of a new one so um really neat that they added that feature but this feature can use a little bit of work um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that or just say that in this review it's not perfect the import export is not perfect but it's really neat that you can still do it um, so it, again it's asking me to sign in that I just clicked there um, then we have two more. We have um, the edit folder, so I can take any of these folders and I can click right here and I can actually edit them or I can actually move them or I can actually delete them or I can actually go in and I can change the color of the folder. If I want to make that blue or pink or any of the color, I can change the icon, whatever icon I want, or I can actually change the name and I can also add a passcode um, to this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel because I don't want to add a passcode. So let's say that that you have some secret documents or something you want to put a passcode you can add a passcode on individual folders which is really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that and I'm actually just gonna show you how you add in um, in edit notes and folders so I'm actually gonna go here to the add folder I'm gonna call this um, testing folder or not I'm gonna call this just test I'm gonna change the icon to this clock here and I'm going to change the color to let's make it pink. So I'm going to go click save and you see now that that test went on the bottom here. Now when I click this there's two different ways you can add a note. I like adding the notes in the specific folder but you can go up here to add just a regular note which will go let me go back to your main notes or you can click in the folder and I can add a quick note. I can add one here a new note or I can add a quick note. I, I use the quick note all the time so um, I'm going to say doing an app review. I'm going to click done. Now the really cool thing is these actually appear as like sticky notes. So let me add some more just real quick. Test. I'm going to add another one. Um, review. I'm going to add another one. 
Let's see, let's see. Um, let's just call this one YouTube. Now again, these are just um, complete, uh, just bogus notes right here. The more notes that you get, um, the, the more the, this will scroll down. And actually just, again, they look like sticky notes. So I can click on any of these. I can edit any of these. I can delete any of these. So now if I go in here, I can mail this to me. I'm not going to mail it. Not actually exit the apps if you mail it. I, I'm not going to mail that. I can, um, I can change the folder that it's in. So I can add that to app reviews. I can add that to test, which it is. Um, change the text. I can change the font. There's so many things that you can do with this application. I mean, it's unreal. But the biggest thing that I that I'm using this application, or the biggest thing that I like about, it is just the the simplicity of the folders. I love it. Again, I have in here. I have new app ideas that we're actually developing at, at Unique Apps. I have stuff for my work, and I'm not going to show you all of these because a lot of them are personal data uh, for, for my business. So I'm not going to show you all of these things. But it's just a really really efficient and effective way of organizing your notes, at least for me. I mean, I can't speak highly enough about this application. Um, I, I probably give this application a, a four, I want to say five out of five stars, but um, again, I have a little bit of problems with the backup and restore. Um, it, it, if this gets fixed, I give it a five out of five stars. I'm going to give this though a four and a half out of five stars. I, I really enjoy the application. Since I've used this, you know, I've had this on my phone for about a week now, but literally my desk has been um, just completely clear. Every single note I, I add to this, and I'm not using my sticky notes anymore. I'm using them uh, um, sporadically, but not near. I mean, I should have taken a picture before I used this application. I should have taken a picture of my desk just so you could see all the sticky notes that I have. Uh, but I really, again, I can't speak highly enough about this. So that's my review of Awesome Note. They have it in, in the um, iTunes store right now for $4. I think it's worth, definitely worth $4. At least it has been worth $4 for me. That's really it with this review of Awesome Note. I hope you enjoy the review and I hope you um, check out Awesome Note on your iPhone and your iPod Touch. Have a great day.